Despite only having a population of 300,000 people in the U.S., the Amish community are one of the most recognizable yet heavily scrutinized groups in America. They're so heavily scrutinized for the large part because their lifestyle is so much different than the typical American lifestyle in today's modern society. Um, in my presentation, I will be looking to break down some of these barriers by talking about Amish values, how their values impact their communication styles and norms, and then also going over the basic do's and don'ts of Amish etiquette. Um, we'll start with the values. Um, one term that can be used to describe the overall Amish um, group of core values is the German word Gelassenheit. Um, roughly translated, it means giving up oneself in the name of a higher power, higher authority. Um, and in the case of the Amish community, that would be the church would be the higher authority. Um, some things that go along with Gelasenite include having a calm spirit and more than anything, in, uh, devaluing individualism and placing the church in a higher regard than oneself, just as the um, translation says. Um, also that go with Amish values and Gelasenite are obedience and humility are two of the biggest values across Amish culture um, because they emphasize a greater purpose than oneself and one's own individual interests. Um, along with that, they denounce pride and any actions that aim to gain recognition or any kind of attention. It's all about the community and the church. Um, next, we will move on to how these values affect the way the Amish people communicate. Um, because they value humility and discourage pride, they tend to be very soft-spoken. And they're not very wordy people. They tend to get straight to the point when they're talking about stuff. They're very non-confrontational. Um, they tend to only communicate with outside cultures if they need to. But that being said, it's also very interesting that it's been documented that even though they won't go out of their way to initiate conversation or to look for a relationship with somebody from an outside culture, if one is developed, they will work to maintain that relationship because they value family and friends and people close to them. And with that being said, we will move on to the do's and don'ts of Amish etiquette. Um, some of the basic do's and don'ts um, that are very different from American tradition are do's. Um, do burp at meals. It tells the, the host that you enjoyed the meal. And so that's actually a very polite thing to do when you're a guest. Um, use slow body language versus in the United States or in typical America, it's seen as good to use a lot of body language and to exude confidence. Whereas in the Amish community, that's actually seen as kind of disrespectful and it's not good to exude that kind of confidence. Um, some other don'ts are don't use pet names, no sweetheart, no buttercup. They see those type of names as superficial and being associated with English culture. Um, they don't say pardon me, they don't say excuse me, they don't say thank you. Um, interrupting is very highly offensive just as it is in American culture. And those cover most of the do's and don'ts of basic Amish etiquette. Um, thank you for listening to my presentation and I hope you gained a greater understanding of Amish communication. Thank you very much.